day one Bassmaster Northern Open in Richmond, Virginia on the James River. Very close to home for me. Pretty unique to fish something close to home. I had never done that before. Had a pretty good day. Y'all about to see how it went. my first stop of the day getting everything situated taking my time getting some plastics rigged on stuff I made a pretty long run so you want to kind of ease into the fishing especially when it's kind of cold you make a long run like that it uh, takes a toll on you physically I want to let the blood get to all my fingers and extremities so I don't do something dumb if I hook a fish right off the bat here we go first bite of the day uh, better get used to seeing that spinner bait. Oh yeah, he's twelve. What we need? It's pretty much <clears throat> slack right now, so we're kind of yeah. not <laughs> the best stuff. I'm still working my way up to, um, but they probably won't start biting until that current flows a little bit. Might get a. Yeah, it's supposed to be low at one. Well, that's up at Richmond. Down here, low is right now. Oh, really? Yeah. And I'm. I'm planning to probably just stay here uh, for you know most of our fishing time, but another option would be to um, follow the outgoing tide back to Richmond. But I just think there's going to be so many people on all the stuff that I would want to fish that it uh, it wouldn't really be worth trying to do that. I practiced in this area with Cody Stahl. He was flipping out of the back of the boat while I threw a spinner bait, and I caught some nice fish, but he honestly uh, was catching better average fish than me out of the back of the boat flipping, so I was trying to catch these fish flipping, but something had changed, and uh, you know, I caught some small ones flipping, but by the time I was really getting into the fishing, I realized that it was going to be a spinner bait bite for me. So this next bite was really cool. Um, this fish hit the spinner bait and came at me so fast. I'd never had this happen before. He, the line went completely slack. Uh, that happens when you're flipping and you set the hook and you're not winding while you set the hook, but with a moving bait, you're already turning the handle and you kind of sweep into the fish and keep reeling. This fish just absolutely turned on the jets. It was wild. Super cool to have it happen during the tournament. See how fast he came yeah. to the boat? Oh, yeah. That's I've never had that happen in my life. Wow. Awesome. That's the ones we want right there. We're gonna watch that one more time.
Like when I was trying to grab him, I was still just kind of bewildered at everything that had just happened in the past three seconds. No, it's a good one. See, that's why they're so mean in here, because if they're not yeah. mean, they die. <laughs> that's yeah. five, isn't it? Yeah. I really might count, because I've got buddies that have done real dumb stuff and lost yeah. a lot of money because of it. i got to check, because I might get excited and do something stupid today. I don't know if he's gonna help or not. I'm gonna spin the light around real quick. I could tell he didn't have it very good. Here, nice thing. Oh. Actually, I don't even know how much he's going to upgrade. I'll have to check him. Sorry, I just got a tide, you know, it'll push us down through there. Oh, shoot. No, this is the one where I'm allowed to take the cast, though. Because it's out of the water. Most all your other creeks all up the river are the same way and worse. Yeah. And that all this. that's what's gonna be kind of the difference maker between you know whether coming here, even though I might catch the same weight, those guys in other creeks they probably gotta divide it up a lot. So when I fished this creek the first time, it was actually a creek that in practice produced some really nice fish. Um, I caught some nice ones right on the mouth of it, which I had not in practice, but we had a really cold night and the water temperature, I think it dropped like five or six degrees 
and it was even colder. I think it was less than 60 degrees in this creek, and this was, you know, fish that had been used to water up close to 70 or more, I believe. So once the tide switched to come in, I went and fished back in this creek a little bit um, once the warmer water got in there, and I got some bites, but they just weren't big. Not gonna do me any good. Yeah, it could, yeah. It seemed like you have more of a warning bite. Uh -huh. So you'll see here, definitely kept getting bites as the morning went on, but the size was just not there. I don't know what the deal was, if those fish just bit in the morning or the pressure started to get to them. Um, kept getting bites, but they were small, so eventually I had to get out of here. There he is. There you go. Nice. All right. I got him. He hit one time. I don't know if he was, he's 12, though. He's 12. You can measure him if you want. I'll get a board. Yeah, I got a board. Here you go. I thought him hit once and then he... No. He didn't make not. it. You sure? Yeah, because you got to fan it. You got to wow. fan the tail. I'm surprised. He didn't make it. Let me, let me hold on. Let me... I swear you can do it. Swear. Maybe not. Because you, you can't pinch a tail. Yeah, I know. I'm just surprised. Yeah, almost. Yeah, well, at least I caught one. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Yeah, he's not. I really thought he was. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay, got one this time. I think so too. You know what my boy was? Uh, I, I got one. Whoa, ooh, ooh. Oh, don't, don't you dare go in that water. Keep him down there, you're good. Mouth. <laughs> you gotta fan it. I mean, yeah. I would I'd put him in there. You can check him later. Uh, well, mm -hmm. uh Cause they they want it fan. Fan means they're gonna swish it back and forth like what I did. They'll they'll take it and do this with it. Uh -oh. And if he does that, it'll see how it covers it. Oh, really? He switch it, he'll switch it back and forth like that. Okay. I know the guy that uh, bolts. Oh. Okay. Thank you. I'll throw all in there. So I think this might have been my final fish catch of the day. Um, I definitely didn't catch any fish once I left my starting area that mattered. Just as I figured, every spot that I tried to fish on my way back to the ramp had boats on it. The spot I'm fishing right now, I was trolling to it, and a guy came in on plane past me and sat right down on it and power pulled down on the spot that I had caught a four and a half pounder off of. And when I say the spot, I mean like the exact cypress knee. So that was all I needed to see as far as, you know, trying to determine what the rest of my tournament was going to look like. That's all she wrote for day one. Ended up with 1310, put me in 51st out of 225. Not what I wanted, but on a river that crowded, I'll take it.